Hey, mom. How's the weather there? It's been raining here. Dad made us chapatis last night. He forgot to wash the frying pan and all of them came out so black. Wabi joined school today and I'm doing okay. Still writing and performing in this foreign language. I promise, I promise I'm going to start writing more in your tongue. I just wrote to tell you that I see you. I see how you struggle to fit in with other moms. How you can't make plans with them because you might be deployed any time I see you. I saw how it hurt you to leave us when Wabi was just four months. And I see how heavy it weighs you down to know that you'll miss birthdays, recitals, graduations, Christmas and all other special moments I see you. I see how you master up strength to encourage dad with a smile even though deep inside you weep. I see you. They don't say a lot of good about you back here. Some say you soldiers just sit all day in the barracks doing nothing. Mama Mboga had enough to say people like you are selfish for leaving their kids back home to go and be heroes. But they can never understand the price you pay. They can't handle the atrocities you witness. They could never get the sacrifices you make, the number of family and friends you leave behind, the months or years you give in service. They could never measure your courage, not by the number of bullets, mines and bombs you dodge or missions accomplished. Your honor cannot be bought by medals, your rock solid, steady metal, your loyal and decisive, effective, not standing. You step out every time knowing that you might not return to these loving hands, that you might just make it back with a troubled mind and still you pick up that call of duty and serve with pride, and I know your unselfish acts of bravery are for our good. Now, I can't lie, reports in the news of another bomb explosion scare me. I still panic and my heart races at the sound of a knock on the door or a phone ringing, so I put on your beret and combat shoes, maybe to feel you closer. I accept that your first duty is to your country and the sacrifices you willingly make is what keeps this nation great. I know your heart is true and strong and you will endure. I know you're a special breed and the strength within you holds life together. So as you serve people, I humbly offer up prayers for your safety and health and those you serve with. As you serve people, I'll tell of your stories. I'll tell them how much I love you and how much I'm proud of you. I'll sing the unsung songs they don't sing, the songs of heroes like you.